Hello everyone, welcome back to Maximum Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to discuss how to integrate LEO reports with your PyTest framework. In one of my last videos, we have seen how to generate PyTest default HTML reports. That report also shows the execution details which we want to see. But if you want to see other details in your execution report, like test failures divided by bugs, broken test, history, graphs, and bug tracking system, then you can integrate the LEO report with your PyTest framework. To integrate LEO report with your framework, what you need to do is, first of all, you need to install the PyTest LEO package. And to do that, I'll go to the package installation screen. And then here, I'll type the package name. This is the package which we need to install. So I'm gonna click on install package. Once this package is installed, then we can generate the LEO report for our test execution. Package has been installed successfully now. So let me close this. Here I have few test files which contains few test methods. Now when you have your test methods created, then the next thing is to execute them. And at the time of executing the test, I'm gonna provide an extra command to generate the execution report in the form of LR. So let me type the command, pytest, and then we need to provide the LR directory path using LRTIR command. Let's say I want to generate the report on this folder itself. So I can directly provide the folder name over here. Now this pytest command is gonna run all the test methods available under the test files in this directory. Here I have two test files under this folder. So it is gonna run all the test methods which are available under these two files. Now let me run it. You can see that the execution is done and we have four failures and two pass. And here we can see a new folder has been created with the name reports earlier. Here we have JSON files generated for the execution report output. Now earlier report can be generated using these JSON files. To generate the earlier HTML report, what we need to do is we need to type the command allure serve and then provide the allure report folder or directory where JSON files are placed. This is the directory where all the JSON files are available. So I'm going to provide this report allure folder name and then I'll press enter. You can see it says generating report to temp directory. It's creating an LEO report using the JSON files. We can see that the report successfully generated and it is starting the web server. So it will automatically open the LEO report on a web browser. Here is the LEO report and we can see that six test cases are executed where two tests are passed and four tests are failed. So the pass percentage is 33.33. .33. And then we can see the status based on different test files. In test underscore my file, we have two failures and one pass. Then similarly, in test underscore second file, we have two fail and one pass. And if I go to the suit tab, then here we can see two test files. You can see the list of different test methods executed under these two test files. Here we have the first test method executed and I can see the error. Why did it fail? It failed because this is not equal to six. And then the second test scenario is passed and third scenario is failed because of the other failure. Then we can see the different graphs you can see the details. 
then we have another tab called behaviors if you have written your test in the form of behavior driven then you can use this tab for the details and if you have different tests executed based on different packages then all those packages will be displayed over here and under those test packages you will find the different test files and then under different test files we can find the different test methods so LEO reports provide different ways to get the execution details. This is how you can generate the LEO report for your test framework. Let me close this. These were the basic tests which we executed. Then I have few test methods where I have used text fixtures. Here I have one test parameter demo file and under this I have one test parameter demo method where I have used the test fixtures and the test parameters. So let's see how the reports looks when we execute a test which uses test fixtures and test parameters. I'm going to open the terminal again. And let me move to this folder. Then I'm going to type the command to run the test with LEO report directory. I'm going to run this method only because I have multiple test methods available in this directory. So to execute a specific test method, I can filter the test by using command hyphen K followed by the test method name. Now let me press enter. We can see that it collected five items. Three got deselected and two selected. So total five test methods found in this directory. Because I have provided the filter with the test method name, so only two test methods are gonna run. Because if you can see here, then this test method is parameterized. So this test method is gonna run two times with two test data sets where one data set is this and the another data set is this. First time it is going to run with these values and second time this will run for these values. We can see the execution has started. This is going to run the same test method two times. First time it will search for a Python book and will verify the price. And then the second time it will search for a Java book and then it will try to verify the book price. Because we have parameterized the test method, so it is going to run the same test method with different test data set. Now we can see that the execution has been completed and both the test methods have failed, but that's fine because we only wanted to see the test execution report. And also we can see that here the report folder has been generated where we have these JSON files. Now to generate the LEO report out of these JSON files, I'm going to type the command again. We can see that the LEO report is generated. Here, two test cases executed. First method is executed for these values. You can see the details like Chrome, Java book, Java complete reference. These are the different values. And here, these are the different test data sets. So the test data set is also getting populated with the test method name to understand which version of the test method executed with which test data. This is how you can integrate LEO reports with your PyTest framework. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. And also, please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.